Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel SaskScaleUp and today I'm going to share with you how you can create your own AWS account for free and launching EC2 service like Ubuntu server or whatever server you want very fast and very easily. So if you guys are not familiar with AWS, AWS services provide us basically all the cloud services we need for our SaaS system and the amazing thing is that they have free uh, account uh, for the first year so you can guys sign in create account start testing start playing with stuff and basically get like a lot of uh, knowledge and understanding on how you can create your own uh, account and basically how um, uh, aws work and cloud working and how to integrate all the services that you need um this is the ec2 not ec2 sorry this is the a free account that you guys are getting you have like so many services for free uh, serve free server free storage a free database um, API free API call a cloud watch monitoring tool a lot of amazing um, services for free for you to guide to test for your first year with a free tire and I'm gonna show you basically how you can create this free account and use AWS so the first thing you want to do is you basically want to sign in to AWS uh, after you put in your email and your uh, password um, sorry email and username you're gonna get a verification email and you need to basically um, put the verification email code put the, uh, the password the strong password that you want and continue with the process it's taking like um, I think five minutes to sign in and generate all the information you need and that's it so you need to enter like your name if it's business account not business account your address and stuff like that um, as you can see on the screen I'm covering my information because I don't want you guys to know where I'm living no I'm kidding just you know for a security uh, issue and you can do that too So uh, after putting uh, my details, the next step basically is to put the credit card detail. Uh, as I said, it's free account, but it's still required to put a credit card. Um, don't worry to get charged. If you're following all the free tire um, option, you're not going to get charged. It will be for free. Okay, but they still want a credit card to make sure that if you will eventually uh overload your services and gonna go over the free tire they can have a credit card to charge so after uh, we did all of this information i'm putting i put my phone number and get verification code and that's it voila now i'm gonna choose which kind of support plan i want i want the free one the basic one and good luck guys congratulations you got your first aws free account okay you have your own cloud compu computing um option for free okay so uh, now i'm gonna sign in i'm gonna put uh, my root user a uh, user email and there you go guys welcome to aws the most amazing cloud computing option uh, that we have. We also have Google Cloud and also Microsoft uh, Azure. I just love AWS. They are very simple. They have so many options. You can basically launch every service you need on all of those um, locations. You have like US, you have uh, Africa, you have Europe, you have uh, Australia, India, wherever. You can choose wherever um, location that you want in order to launch your services. And also there is more than 200 um, services that AWS provide. Um, seeking you guys to go and look for all the information you need. It's very interesting. And now I'm gonna show you how you can create basically your uh, Linux server, your uh, server, and how you can uh, SSH to the server. So we went to the EC2 dashboard and I'm gonna launch a new instance. Here you have uh, AMI, basically Amazon Machine Image. This is the quick start. In the quick start, you have free a uh, server that you can pick up, pick from, sorry, and basically launch your uh, server. You also have maybe uh, your AMI that you created in the past. If you have, uh, if you have uh, already account, you have uh, also um, 
AMI from a marketplace that you can buy something or you can launch your own AMI and sell it and make money. That is predefined with a lot of setup already. And you have the community AMI. We're going to choose the default one, the free one with the Ubuntu 2020. And here basically we are picking up the computer or the instance type. We're going to choose the free one, the free tire. And basically you can go and reveal how much it's gonna cost you. Each computer, each server instance, how much it's gonna cost. And um, this is what I'm showing here. You can calculate and find out. Basically the one that is free, it's free, so you don't need to calculate it. But if you want in the future to check, uh, you can check uh, how much it will cost you per hour. This is what I love about also uh, cloud computing. Um, you only pay for what you use. If you're not using it, you're not paying compared to physical server another option that i'm going to teach you today is about elastic ip it's a the basically alternative world for static ip so we're going to create a server with a static ip and then we're going to ssh to the server um, so now we're going to basically choose uh, how many a number of instance i'm going to choose one the regular one and i'm going to use everything with the default setting you don't need to change everything unless you already have account with predefined network and predefined setting that you want to pick and choose but if you are in this stage and you're just starting basically you don't need to change anything just leave with the default and go on now this is we now we are in the ebs basically in the storage as i said amazon provides a lot of free a uh, tire so one of them it's basically up to 30 gigabyte of um hard disk so you can use, I'm going to just increase it from 8 to 30, you know, because I'm big. And it's going to be free for the next 12 months. You can read and also like if you like concern something, you can always go and check what is free and what is not. And go next. Here is the adding tag. At the moment it's not important, but maybe in the future I will show you how it's important. Next stuff is basically configure a security group. Security group, it's like firewall on the cloud, like where you define um, the port and who is allowed to access to this specific port in order to make your server very secure. So those are the ports that already uh, exist. I'm gonna change the SSH port to only my IP because I don't wanna allow everyone to log into my server. So it's gonna work only for my IP. And I'm also going to add um, HTTP and HTTPS uh, port in order to make uh, it available from the outside for everyone. But I'm not going to install web server at the moment. I'm just showing you how to configure port. Because if you're not going to do it, the server is going to be closed and you won't be able to um, reach the server. Next step is basically uh, choose a PEM file, a key pair file that... Only with this key you are allowed to access the server. It's another security measure. I'm going to use the RSA uh, default encryption. I'm going to download the key pair. And that's it. Now we're going to launch the server. It's going to take like a few minutes, really like between one to five minutes, even, even less. And this is basically the dashboard of the EC2. And I'm going to configure now a static IP. Amazon call it elastic IP. Okay, because with Amazon, when you are um, creating a server and you restart the server, the IP is changing. So you want to define elastic IP or static IP. So I basically um, generate a elastic IP and now I'm going to assign it to the new server we just created. Okay, perfect. Let's put just default name so we will know to which um, server uh, this IP uh, belong. Okay, wonderful. Also, let's name our uh, new server. So now I will refresh and you can see that the IP basically a uh, change, it's update. And here is the elastic IP, the static IP. Okay, it's not accessible because we didn't we don't have um, um, web uh, service. We didn't install nginx or Apache, but it's working. I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna log into the SSH server. 
Um, but first of all, let's review what we have here. We have like uh, EC2 uh, server with private and public uh, address. And uh, those are all the um, details, the general details. This is the security group, um, networking, to which network we are assigned to, what is the storage, um, the status of the server, monitoring, we can monitor our server from here, the CPU, the networking, the memory. And that's it. Now let's connect. It's very simple, really, like, guys, you're gonna look at how simple it is. You're going to SSH client. We basically need to change the permission of the key we download like a few minutes ago to do to 400. And this is um, basically the uh, comment that we need to pass in our uh, shell console. So this is my shell console. I'm gonna uh, now uh, reach out to the key pair that I uh, created. It's in download. I'm just gonna move it to desktop so you can see the key pair. Okay, this is the key pair, my first server, dot PAM. Without this key pair and without uh, allowing you on the security group your IP for the SSH, you won't be able to connect. Okay, great, this is the keeper file. Basically you wanna storage it under the .ssh file folder that you have on your computer. Now we're changing the permission because it now it's not gonna work for us if we're not gonna change the permission for the key. Okay, permission change. And let's connect, I just copy paste the comment. That's it, you can do it too, it's very simple. We're just gonna run yes for those uh, predefined uh, settings. And there you go, guys. You have your first EC2 Ubuntu 20, uh, 2020 um, server uh, available for you. All of this is for free. It's already predefined with few um, software inside like um, <clears throat> HTOP or TOP or other uh, setting that's already configured. Uh, with the HTOP, basically you can view your server use and the process in a more cooler way. And that's it. You have your, you create your free account on AWS. You launch your first server, you connect to the server, and now you can like start and developing your SaaS, your app, wherever thing uh, that you want. Please subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it, tell me why you didn't like it and please subscribe again. I love you guys. I'm going to share with you other videos as well. So keep following. It's going to be amazing.